Right, I know I'm sitting in the M140i, but we are indeed doing a police car video today. Before we get started though, I just want to give a massive thank you to Squarespace that sponsored today's video. We have got one slight issue, and that's the battery is dead. I have tried to boost it. I know it's a bit of a, a shambles that we've left it here on the grass. I do apologize about the construction noise in the back there. I can't really do anything about it. But yeah, this is what the Volvo is looking like after about a month of being not on the channel, probably a bit more than a month. I haven't actually cleaned it since I bought it because I was waiting for this video idea to be done. So yeah, we've had some more issues in the meantime. This tire has gone flat and the exhaust tip has now literally just, it's hanging up for dear life. But if you saw the everything wrong with the car video, you will have known that exhaust tip is actually just, it's got a mind of his own. Now with a project like this, I mean, the car was 1500 pounds. So you might expect that potentially I'll just put whatever tires on it, but no. We've gone for some brand new Michelin Pilot Sport 4s for the Volvo. There you go, the sticker's still on there, nice and fresh. I was in this dilemma, I thought I could get part worns and the way to get new wheels and stuff like that, but then I thought the car literally has like illegal tread on it right now. I need to drive it to get to places and do videos, so thought no messing around. There was an offer on Black Circles. I got the whole set for around 250 quid. Can't really go wrong. Now, in terms of the dead battery situation I think what we'll have to do is get the battery out of the R32 so I tried this on the Volvo earlier and the other day and it doesn't work so what we're gonna do is get the battery out of this thing ironically this thing had a dead battery as well this is the old one so there is a fresh one in there which still has a full charge even though I haven't driven this thing in ages So there it is, the lovely new battery that I bought not too long ago. If I can actually pick it up. It's one way to do it, with one hand. Right, so I am going to show you a full detailed look at all the dirt once we've got the car back there. Um, I'll just give you a quick brief look at the boot floor area. Yeah, it looks like it's been in a uh, sandstorm. There's the battery. That's after me actually giving it a bit of a clean, if I'm being honest. Right, so a moment of truth. In theory, it should turn on. I did hear a click when I put the new battery in. Oh, look at that. We've got B pin, so that's a good sign. Let's turn on this T5. <laughs> I've heard this thing in ages, man. Yeah, I do love my cheaper car builds. There's something about them. There we go. Right, folks, so now that we've got the car started, we've got it to an area we can work with. I'm gonna give you a sort of run through the video now, so. We'll essentially clean it as we would. Um, don't expect any miracles. First of all, the car's paint is pretty much like Tipex, so there's no shine to it. So we aren't gonna do some crazy two bucket method and you know all that overly fancy stuff where everyone's like fully assessing how you clean the car. We're not bothering anything like that. It's a cheap car project. We're just gonna clean it just how we would and whatever goes really. Towards the end of the video, I'm gonna head over to a tire shop We'll get the tires changed over, like I showed you, the Pilot Sport 4s over there. But yeah, if you do enjoy content on a car like this, make sure you do subscribe. I know I do videos on the stuff like the M140i and the other stuff, but you gotta appreciate that this channel's kind of built on two different types of content. What I'll do, I'll just pop the bonnet as well, because there is a bit of a, when I say a bit, there's actually a, a lot of mess under there. The car's done 200,000 miles, it was an ex-police car. And it has a bunch of dirt. I don't think anyone's ever really taken care of this thing. I mean, it's not even an old car. It's actually only 2007, so the grand scheme of things is not too bad. Panels all have this mold behind them. And it, 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 when I say the paint looks like Tipex, it literally does. I mean, look at that. I could probably start peeling the whole thing apart. So yeah, the goal is kind of to get all of, you know, this off and all this disgusting grime that's never been cleaned. Let's give it a little rev first though. Oh, you can hear the turbo. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna show you all the stuff we're gonna be using to clean the car. We've got the jet wash here, which also has a tear in the line. So we're gonna have loads of water flying out there. Part of the fun, I'm sure. We've got snow foam. This is the one I tend to use um, like I said, I ain't no detailer, so I just get what's on Amazon. This stuff's pretty good as well for cleaning wheels. 
Um, I use this on the other cars also. And we've got a brush to agitate the dirt, like you know, these fancy detailing terms. Got an extension there, a hose pipe, as you would need for a water supply to the jet wash. Now, the other thing I just wanted to point out, we're not going to use a bucket today. I know it might come as a bit of a surprise. Yeah, what we're going to do is literally snow foam the car. Well, rinse it first. We've already started the rinse. Snow foam it, rinse it, then snow foam it again, and then sponge that. Don't worry, I don't do that on the other cars. It's just the state of this paintwork is so bad. Whatever I do is not really going to make a difference anyway. Give that a bit of a go. I know the wheels are going to be off again a bit, but still worth doing. They don't actually look too bad, but a lot of the dirt wasn't actually coming off of the jet wash. Right, so the wheel cleaner seems to be doing its thing. Basically, if you got a bunch of this coming off here after you sprayed it, it's working. There's a load of dirt on there, brake dust. I mean, look at the state of this one. The calipers are filthy. Oh, look at that. It's actually red again under there. Definitely going to throw away this brush afterwards. Wheels definitely a lot cleaner. The caliper is actually bright red. I thought it was like a darker red. Seems not, it was just covered in dirt. So yeah, we'll do the rest of the wheels before that starts drying. And show you how it looks afterwards right so all the wheels are cleaned i think we're definitely making progress now by the way this um, snow foam is not going to be very thick the pressure issue that I got on the jet wash it means i have to kind of do it in bursts you'll see anyway Right, so probably the weakest looking snow foam I've seen in a while. I know what you're thinking, why are you washing it straight onto there? It really does not matter at this point. I don't think this thing's been washed in years. I mean, look at the state of that. Right, I know it doesn't look like it, but I have sponged the car down. It's white, so you can't really tell, but see how much dirt comes off it. Right, so I've given the Volvo a clean, sponged it down as you saw. Of course, we've got some of the dirt that's kind of just been building up on the surface off. But a lot of the ingrained stuff, I think, is kind of just... Either it's the paint that's deteriorated or... I don't know, because if you look there, it might look like dirt, but it's actually paint cracking. So, yeah, we can't get any miracles. Find a few more scratches, part of the fun, but then it makes sense. You know, crack tail light, scratch. All good. I think what we need to do is reverse it over here and have a better look. Um, first things first, let's pull off that exhaust tip because it is going to fall off when we start driving it. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, <laughs> pull the exhaust tip off. Look at the state of that. A corroded exhaust tip. It wasn't doing anything anyway, it was just hanging onto the bracket. 
Fair enough, it's like a relic or something we can store. Look at the irony of this, rusted exhaust tip next to my new tires. Yeah, that is pure mud. Not all of this is just grime and yeah, there it does look quite good, doesn't it? Got a lot of potential. Let's just get that tire pumped up. Nice PSI. It's up to two and a half, three now. Basically fully flat. You know what, I just realized the benefits of having a Volvo estate, I don't need to take out the stuff in the boot to fit the tires in. I could just leave all of that in there. I forgot how fun this thing is, even in limp mode. Sounds immense. <laughs> It's not quick, but it's got so much character. Right, folks, we're at the tire shop. Got the Pilot Sport 4s in the car. I'll give you a look at these tires once they're off. We're at MPT. You guys remember this place from the previous videos. Got Nick there. So, yeah, we're gonna essentially give the car a bit of respect, give it some proper tires. This, yeah. is, this is telling you that uh, something going on with your bushes on the inside. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, eh? Yeah, these are mangled. This is the front right. Also pretty battered, isn't it? And what brand is it? Can't even tell. GT, right? Do it for a budget. Ooh, what's going on here? Look at that. Let's not talk about that, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a bit of flaky paint there, like you said. Yeah, that's it. And all that corrosion and slay in there. Yeah. Can cause your rims to leak from the back. Right. So we just seal that. Hopefully they won't leak, but yeah. best way to solve that's with a refurb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully they, they should be alright until we change the alloys anyway, innit? So that's the main thing. Right, so it's the next day. The tyres are on the car. I've got to say, it's taken years off. It literally looks... I don't know, it just tyres, just when you see them in the flesh, they just fully change the look of the car. Especially when they were just so battered to begin with. Look at that, man. The Michelin logo. It's just funny, this has got better tyres than the M140i at this point. I suppose that's how stuff goes. The paintwork does look a bit better in the flesh. I don't know how well it picks up off the camera. It looks like it's got a matte white wrap though, to be fair. There's no shine left in it, but I suppose that's pretty cool. We're not addressing the interior or anything like that today. I've already given it a vacuum, but because there's so much stuff in there, I want to probably do like an interior upgrade video. And in that, we'll go through all the details because yeah, especially if we're going to continue with this project, we definitely need to sort out that. Of course, I got the wheel in the back. Let me know if you've got any tips with that. It's just, it's really, yeah, the airbag just doesn't want to come off. Before we finish for today though, like I said, there's one more thing to address. So that's the headlights. Now, as you can see, they're pretty fogged up. Typical situation. Right, you get this on like Mark 5s and Type R's and all that kind of stuff. So I have got a kit that we're going to use to kind of bring some life back into them. So this is a kit that I've used in the past. It does work. I think it's like 10, 15 quid off Amazon or eBay. Right, so we're going to work on the left headlight and then you can just replicate it on the other one to save time in the video. They give you different bits of sandpaper. If you search how to use Quick's headlight restoration kit on YouTube, you'll probably find a full DIY. They give you this plastic polish and they give you a little block to sand with. And also a sealant as far as i remember i'll help if i could hold it so yeah you're gonna put this on afterwards to stop the headlights going yellow again but yeah you can just watch it and see how it goes I'll give you a few cloths you need some water as well but yeah let's make a start i know it looks odd yeah but you literally just gotta sand it down when i first used it it didn't make sense to me because i was thinking how is sanding down a headlight gonna make it clear again surely it'd scratch it but nope you'll be surprised you basically just keep going until it's pretty much smooth that's what i remember freestyling it as usual all right let's wipe it off right now obviously it looks all foggied up and whatever that's kind of what you would expect i see the end when you polish it you'll realize it'll all come off so now you're going to switch to well i'm going to switch to 3000 Right, so I think that's a pretty decent amount of sanding. Well, for now anyway. Let's get some polish on it next. i yeah, use this in about a year, so. They give you these cloths with it. Obviously you can use a nice microfiber if you want. I'm just using what they give, so. To show what it's like. See all the top layers coming off. Give it a wipe with the microfiber as well. 
Definitely a bit better. It's not perfect. Well, I think these headlights are pretty... <laughs> they're not perfect to begin with. Right, so I spent about 20 minutes on that. I actually just did it twice. And I'll be honest, it hasn't made too much of a difference. <laughs> I mean, here, this one's not done. Yeah, there's a bit, but when you look at it in the sun there, you still can see all the sanding marks. Now, I can confirm it's not just me doing it wrong. I have done it on another car and it came out fine, but I think these headlights are just past it. It's worth a shot anyway. Volvo's looking clean. There's one last touch before we get some nice panning shots of it. So I'm just going to use Auto Glim tyre gel and this little Meguiar's applicator. There's just tyre glue all over the tyres at the minute because we just changed them after I cleaned it. Perhaps not the best idea. Look at that. Go. Right, so the tire shine's done. It's a bit of a shame the headlight restoration kind of flopped, but oh well, gotta give it a go. Might as well show the sort of, what's the best way to put it? And if something doesn't go to plan, you still put it in the video, that's what I'm trying to say. I still do recommend that kit, but some headlights, they may not work as well as you'd like. We've done what we can, a lot of the mold and everything. It's kind of gone if you look there. There used to be green in all of the nooks and crannies. I mean, from here, it definitely looks a lot tidier. If anything, it's good that the car's finally off the grass, they're decaying with a flat tire and also a flat battery, and that was another thing. I will get this tow bar off at some point too. And yeah, we'll see how we go with this project. Let me know what you think. Make sure you're subscribing and dropping a like and all that good stuff. And also follow me on Instagram if you want to see any updates. Of course, that's a big focus right now, but I appreciate the two different things. But yeah, might as well give you a little cinematic now of the Volvo. Right, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I thought we'd finally do some Volvo content again today. Before we leave, though, I just want to give a massive thank you to Squarespace again for sponsoring today's video. So Squarespace is an online platform that allows you to create your own website. You can choose from a variety of stunning templates and essentially create the exact website that you want. You can use Squarespace to launch an online store, run a blog post, or even link your social media accounts and connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members-only content. In addition to this, you can also use Squarespace email campaigns to grow and engage with the audience. What this does is allows you to create all your email content in a similar manner to your website, so all the themes are consistent and everything's nice and slick. All of this is also optimized for mobile, so there's no concerns there. And you can also use customizable galleries to display images and videos in a unique way. So yeah guys, head out to Squarespace to get your free trial. When you're ready to launch your website, you can use my code, which will be on the screen right now. It's squarespace.com slash trhamza. What they'll do, will give you 10% off your next purchase of a domain or website. It's ironic that we've got police sirens in the back. But yeah, take care guys, and I'll see you in the next video.